Hey guys, I am Chris Norwood, and I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded. And along the way, um, some good things happen and some bad things happen. We got to talk about pretty, pretty bad situation with anti-flag. And that's what this podcast is going to be about today. I am actually looking, because uh, we've all heard that all their websites are taken down. Uh, their YouTube is still up. Their, um, they still have some, some stuff out there on the website, uh, the internet. I did type in antiflag.com, and you can purchase it for $7,095. Um, it says hurry because one person has it in their cart. So someone is going to buy againstme.com. It's a, it looks like it's about $600 a month for a year. So that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, but I don't want to do that. I would do it if I had $7,000. But uh, I am looking at the latest headline over at spieltimes.com slash news slash is just in the cause of anti-flags breakup been a lot of talk about um, if there is guilt is it just the one band member is it the entire band is it the record company how many people are to blame here uh, it, I, I did hear I did watch the podcast the interview over on enough and it's it is really really hard to listen to and I've got a strong strong stomach and it was just really scary because the woman really does a good job at describing exactly what was going on and there's a lot of details about like songs that were made by this person um, you know performances by this person where they were at and it's just really, really bad, really scary story, really scary story. Um, and we're not even going to say, we're not even going to talk about whether she's telling the truth or not, because it's, it's just the whole situation is really, really bad. I like that. Uh, let's see. Let's see what Spiel Times has to say. Okay, so this I'll, I'll link them too because I want to give them credit. Uh, they are political punk rock band Anti Flag, and they have suddenly, suddenly in a thunderstorm disbanded. And um, they've been around for three decades, which is crazy, right? These guys look very young to be a, a band that's 30 years old. Um, why did they break up? Because there was no official allegation against anyone, um, but it, it just—it it definitely sounds like it, it. It is in fact him. Their Patreon page, which is weird, and I've heard a lot of people talking about why does a big rock band have a Patreon page, but it is still up. It says no borders, no nations. And actually, look, I can I can become a patron. You got the five dollar underground network. You got the twenty dollar rank and file, and you got the oh, the people united for thirty five dollars a month is sold out. Okay, so there's two hundred ninety four members. There's a hundred and eighty nine posts, um, and doesn't even say anything on here. Let's see messages. Uh, oh, can I, I can send a message. Oh, I bet people are having a field day with that. They promise refunds, um, and then the Patreon page will be going down. So all of their social media accounts and their official website taken down. Anti-Flag have disbanded. The Patreon has switched into mode where it will no longer charge the monthly fee. I will begin processing refunds to all patrons in the coming weeks. Once all refunds are processed, the Patreon page 
will be removed. Who is this I? Is this someone in the band? Is this someone at the record label? Justin Sane, Pat, Pat Pathetic. Um, they founded Anti Flag in Pittsburgh, 1988. I've been around since 1980, bleeping eight. Okay, so it's just really, really bad situation. Uh, but it does look like people are exploring what exactly is going on. Um, shocking allegations in the most recent episode of Enough podcast called Enough. Dedicated to this sort of thing in the music business. This sucks. You can't trust anyone. It's just really, really sad. Um, if you really believed in any of the stuff Anti Flag sang about, you'll hold Justin Sane accountable for his actions. Tagged Anti Flag. That was a Twitter. And I just, I, I am really bummed out. I think I reviewed, I reviewed the last album that Anti Flag did. That was the only thing I ever really talked about as far as Anti Flag on the channel. But I, I liked a few songs. Um, I think I liked, I think I, I've got Spotify pulled up and I, you know, I can, uh, I'm a little bit hesitant to spin them, but, uh, yeah, their Spotify is still up. They got, man, 884 monthly listeners, or 1,000 monthly listeners. But the songs that I liked by Anti-Flag, I say liked, the songs that I have enjoyed, um, The Disease, American Attraction, For What It's Worth, Surrender, The Fight of Our Lives, featuring Tim McElroy. Press Corpse, This Is The End, and This Is The End, Laugh, Cry, Smile, Die, and Turncoat is a, is a good one now. Um, American Attraction is probably my favorite song by this band, or it was, but man, this, is, this whole thing's bad. It's just really bad, and... I don't, you know, we don't know what exactly is going to happen from here on out, but, uh, you know, let's just, just keep everybody in your, uh, in your thoughts and we will, uh, you know, there's, there's other bands out there. I'm hoping, I'm thinking if the other three guys are, um, on the up and up and they're not, uh, involved in this in any way. Uh, there is a, well, at least two of them are in a band called White Wives, and I hope that maybe that band can, you know, maybe step up and fill the spot. Or, you know, maybe we'll see a, uh, a renewed anti-flag with someone else singing, or, you know, different band name, same band name, uh, probably a different band name after all this. But, yeah, Anti-Flag are, uh, they are done. They are, they are now pro-flag, I guess. That doesn't make any sense. But, just disturbing stuff. Uh, I hope to come back to you with some better news, a more positive thing on some upcoming podcasts. But this is just, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it. It's a total bummer for their 884,868.